Hi, you guys. So this is Tuesday. Um, I didn't vlog on Monday because I didn't feel too good. I had my lady friend start visiting me and I was very um, tired and crampy. So I just relaxed yesterday um, as much as I was able to because yesterday was um, possibly, possibly the last game for basketball um they're gonna play one more game um and if they win this game they will possibly have to play cheer for a couple away games so i'm going to get my blood work finally <laughs> so i thought i'd take you with me because i'm not happy about it but my husband kind of put his foot down and i don't blame him because i probably would have done the same thing I'm just nervous. Um, I don't think anything crazy is wrong. I think that my vitamin D is probably low. And you know, the normal things, I need to go to a gynecologist, things like that. I just, I, I don't know. I don't, my grandmother is obviously my support system, but she is older. She's like, I think she's 76. She just turned 76 or she'll be 76 in May. She's either gonna be 77 or 76. And it's like, she it's too hard for her. She has a lot of, lot of medical issues. And then my two sisters are young. They're in their early 20s. And my aunt, I'm very close to. She's 51, my mom's sister. Um, I mean, I'm very close. She helped raise me. I don't know, I shouldn't drive with this thing on. It drives me nuts, so I'm gonna try to take it off while I'm still on my street. Um, she did help raise me and uh, has always been very important to me, but I just don't have like a support system as far as girlfriends. Uh, when it comes to someone like kind of encouraging me to get the medical help that I, or not help, but like checkups that I need. And I know it's not a good thing. So I'm thinking like maybe that's what I can be and we can do it for each other, encourage each other to go get our checkups because it's so important and I know it. And my grandmother just went and got her mammogram. I don't know if I'm in the right age for mammogram. Someone could definitely let me know. I think it's 40, but I'm not positive. Um, I don't know a lot about my father's side of the family's history. But on the, my grandmother's side, luckily, there is no breast cancer that I am aware of. But I don't know anything about my father's side of the family. I just, I didn't, um, I always knew my father my whole life. But I didn't, wasn't told he was my father till I was 16. And it was just not a good thing. Um, I know it's strange. It's a very strange situation with my father. Um, but... I'm going to get the blood work done. I really hope they're supposed to be checking my thyroid. That's what I'm most concerned about is my thyroid. And um, he's checking me for lupus and rheumatoid arthritis just because I've been so, ooh, these pieces of hair look wonky. Just because I've been so exhausted and I've had like kind of mild, very, very, mild fluey symptoms where I feel achy and kind of just like unmotivated and it's not good um so that's why I'm going to do it because I want to feel better for summer and spring and I just want to feel better overall I'm sure my eating is not good I'm looking into possibly getting a treadmill soon I love walking I enjoy walking as a form of exercise I always have but I just have developed such a fear of walking outside. I don't know why. I just get nervous if I don't have someone with me. Um, and I'm too scared to walk my dogs by myself. Um, I'm not getting too much into it. I just have a fear around it. So I feel like if I have a treadmill, it's there's no excuse for me to not walk at least an hour a day. Which would be fabulous exercise for me. And it would get me moving and warming up my body and motivating me to continue to do some more so I just think that maybe for Mother's Day maybe I'll ask for like an early Mother's Day gift and maybe they can pitch in and help me get a treadmill my sisters and stuff um 
because I just talked to someone whose daughter graduated in like seven months and has a job lined up as a veterinary, um, I think a vet tech through one of like the vocational schools up here. It was either Camden County College or one of the tech schools. I'm not positive. And I was so excited like to hear that because I know I was saying that I wanted to go to cosmetology school, but I've been going back and forth like what is something that I could truly genuinely see myself excited and happy. And while makeup is like 99% of my life, there's just one little bit percentage of animals that I love just a little bit more. And I just feel like I would feel so um, important and needed in that situation. And I think that's the right route for me is to go into some type of veterinary care, whether it's first getting like, I think, is it a technician first? And then you can go be an assistant. I don't know how it exactly works. Um, my... Uh, I think it's my third cousin just was accepted into the medical program to become a veterinarian, which is very exciting. And I think that's incredible. Um, I'm at the Walgreens. I believe that's where my lab core is. My husband said that's where it is. So I'm going to go do my blood work. I'm going to stop at the grocery store. I need like milk, a loaf of bread, and I think I'm going to make lasagna tonight. So that's all that's going on right now nothing exciting I just not thrilled about doing this and a lot of me just wants to turn around and not go but I'm going I've waited long enough and I'm sure the doctor's not thrilled that I've waited this long anyway so I'm just gonna go do it there's nothing else but to do it so I'm going to do it yeah there's labs here Okie doke, so I'm gonna go get this done. I should have brought a book or something with me. I know I won't be long, but I'm anxious. I'm not nervous about getting my blood work done. I've had so much blood work. I've had, um, when my heart was first getting checked, they did the uh, artery, what the hell is that called? You know what I'm talking about where they go into your artery and it's super duper like uncomfortable. Oh, I just popped my nail off. Okay, I'll be back, bye guys. Okay, ladies, I don't even have you on my stand yet. I was in there 10 minutes, not even. I hate having to give a urine sample um, when you're menstruating. I'm sorry if it's TMI, skip just like three seconds, um, maybe a little more. They didn't give me like a wet nap to clean. And if you know, you know, and it was embarrassing and there was no sink in the bathroom so i had to clean as best as i could the mess that i made because of course it's disgusting and i i don't even like handing off urine samples that are when i'm not ladying but um of course i cleaned and then i said do you mind if i wash my hands real quick and he was like oh of course so um he was fast honestly i didn't even know he stuck me until i looked down i try to always look away not that I really have um, any type of like a reaction to it. Um, blood doesn't really, it, it does and it doesn't. Um, but just to be safe, I don't look because I didn't eat. I only had a cup of coffee today. Um, I'm just nervous about getting it back. That's all. I know we'll be back probably in a couple days. He said that sometimes they have it back within hours um some of the blood work so we'll see what happens i don't i never signed up for that um the chart that the uh patient chart where you can go and look because it's not good for me it's not good for my mental health it's just not good for me it's better that i um talk so i'm gonna run to the grocery store and just get the few things i need and then i'm gonna just head home so before i go in i just wanted to say that i know it's a very strange thing and I never understood it till I started to connect more with some people in here but I do appreciate the support that comes along with it um when I lost my mom so quickly I'm going in the food store but I had to just get this off my chest really quick I lost my mom so quickly and before that I was very interested in the medical field 
Um, I actually had started going to school to be a medical assistant, um, but didn't finish it. Um, I don't really want to get into that, but that's when my fear developed around anything medically related. My mom was diagnosed on April Fool's Day and died April 24th. So, and before that, she never displayed any health issues. She was very rarely sick. She was one of the healthiest eaters, um, but unfortunately she did smoke. So she wasn't as healthy, you know what I mean? But she never displayed, uh, what should I say, like um, typical symptoms of other illnesses. So um, I do appreciate the support it's a very different support, um, especially when you don't have um, girlfriends. It's something that I will be working on in my life because I would, it's not because I don't want friends. I just, I'm not really exactly sure how to even go about that at this age. It's most people already pretty well established in their lives with their friends. They've known them for years. It's not so easy to, um, make friends this age so this is my outlet and this is my source of um comfort it has become and it's good and bad um but I do love it and I feel like if maybe <clears throat> I could reach out to somebody and someone would be like okay well she's waited three months to get her blood work but she finally went maybe I should get my ass to the doctor too and you should because my worst fear above everything in life, I'm not really afraid of much anything. After what I've been through kind of my life, I I'm not really scared of much. But my big fear, like some people have, you know, irrational fears or this. But my fear is leaving behind people that need me desperately and not being there mainly for my child. Um that makes me cripplingly sick sometimes where it cripples me the idea of it um and I become distant and it's not a good thing and I have to reel myself in a lot so sorry to get so heavy I was just thinking about it because it means a lot to me commenting with you guys and talking back and forth I wish there was other than going live which I know I can do and I will I will eventually um you can't talk in real time but I do enjoy the comments, so I will see you a little later. Hi, you guys. So it is Friday, TGIF, thank goodness. Um, I do have to go run to Walmart and get gas in my car. I literally typically don't let my tank get low, and I think I only have like, it says 71 miles till empty, but I don't usually like to do that. One, because it's like very expensive, no matter what to fill up your car or get gas, but I like to feel like I'm not spending as much if I fill it from at least halfway or three quarters, but I am literally on empty. So I'm gonna find one of the gas stations that are a little more affordable because like the prices are like vary like oddly, like some are 10 to 20 cents more. I've seen almost 70 cents more at some places closer to the mall. It's wild. Okay, I'm back. I went to the one gas station about a quarter of the mile up the road and for some reason they were doing construction so I felt like an idiot when I pulled in <clears throat> so I just went up and it was the same price let me ask you this I could sound so stupid saying this but does anyone notice that it doesn't matter how much gas you have in your car or what the price is it's always the damn same it doesn't matter whether I fill it up from empty halfway or what the price is I can guarantee it's going to be $32 or $35 every time without fail. Maybe I sound stupid, and but it just seems like even when it was at its highest, the, it was always $35. Even at $307, it was $35 or it's $32. It's so weird to me. And I said it to my husband and we were like kind of laughing. Like, I don't know if maybe I sound stupid, which I, it, it's honestly possible. <laughs> But does anyone else notice that? Maybe it's just me. I feel like these gases, the gas prices and the price of food, the two things that we need to continue to live is so ridiculous. You have to have gas to get back and forth to make a living and you have to have food to live. And feminine products, holy shit. If it wasn't for my grandmother always giving me feminine products, I it, it's expensive. 
I mean, I'm very fortunate that she shares all the feminine products she has because she's like, she's a bargain shopper. She's the queen of bargaining. So, I mean, it's her. She's that very cliche, cliche grandmother where you always are leaving like you left a grocery store. She just hands me all this shit even if I don't want it. She hands it to me. My husband and I this weekend are going to look for some new doctors because I've said it might get ready with me. I'm on two medications. And like I said, the doctors have explained like sometimes it's safer to stay on these kinds of medications. I beg to differ. I want a second opinion. I'm not so leery about my heart medication, but the other medication, it's like... I feel like that might be contributing to me not feeling well and it's my body's way of telling me like you need to get off this like long-term medication it's time so I'm at Walmart I'm gonna go in I'm not spending more than I need to literally all I need is coffee and creamer rolls and some lunch meat to get us through the weekend a salad for dinner tonight and my husband asked for those pop and popcorns oh i found my evil eye ring i was so 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 upset that i lost it my sister gifted it to me so i put all my affirmations back into my ring it was my dog actually found it under the bed for me i put all of my affirmations back into this ring if you don't believe in that that's fine i know that it's a silly thing but losing the ring really upset me for a long time and i thought about it and i just I, I accepted that maybe the ring no longer was working for me and that's why I lost it but now that I where I found it I remember I took it off and set it on my nightstand and maybe one of my dogs jumped on it and it knocked under the bed but I found it and like I said I put my affirmations back in it and I put it back on I love this ring um, I put my affirmations in to keep away negative energy to attract positive energy to attract um financial stability and good health that's what i put into this and i know some people are probably thinking i'm wildly crazy and it only works if you believe so i'll see you soon okay i am done in walmart i literally i, I used to love food shopping i hate it now it used to be my favorite thing i know that's so weird you guys my husband just got me this roomba because i was bitching the other day about the copious amounts of hair in our house from the animals and he surprised me with this because he got a bonus at work for completing a job earlier and I never realized cats walked backwards I thought they always did like a sideways walk or you know turn like would turn around and scoot out fast but she keeps walking backwards and it's very odd honey leave it alone this thing is actually incredible um, at first I didn't know if I was going to like it because I didn't know if it was like a waste, but so far I'm really enjoying it and it picks up quite a bit of hair. The hair is just getting to me. There's so much of it from my chihuahua. It's insane. But I'm waiting to see if she'll walk backwards again. I just missed her doing it, of course, too. It was really funny. I've never seen a cat walk backwards before. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no, dad told you no. Come on, honey. Daddy doesn't want you barking, bud, like that. Because then you'll accidentally bunker. Hold on. Good morning, you guys. So I am putting in a crock pot meal. Um, this is chicken cacciatore. I, well, a very easy version of chicken cacciatore. Um, maybe if you are looking for more crock pot meals, I thought I'd throw this in a vlog. Um, this is a brand new crock pot. I really like this one from Hamilton Beach. My grandmother gave it to me. You just have to watch it because it does get fast quick. So I have, um, these were small chicken breasts. So I put about, I think four, they are still frozen, but that's the beauty of this crock pot. It is 10 of eight o'clock, 10 of eight in the morning. I did green bell peppers. That's because what I had, that's what I had when I buy them, I freeze them. It keeps them fresh longer and I don't feel so much waste and they keep really nice in the freezer. And I had a white, um, onion and then I put some garlic in here and I'll season it with salt pepper onion powder and a little more garlic powder and then I'm going to cover it with pasta sauce so I'm going to do that real fast and then I'll bring it back to show you 
Now, the thing about chicken is I feel like it cooks so fast in the crock pot, especially if you put it on a high temperature. We won't be eating this till closer to 4.30 or 5 o'clock, and I'll serve it with some type of pasta. Um, I love chicken cacciatore. I know that you're supposed to put wine in it and, you know, babysit it and do all kinds of stuff. And, of course, this would be better if my chicken was thawed and I could saute my chicken first which I usually like to sear my chicken first and then put it in to get more flavor. But I'm getting my hair done, so I don't have a lot of time. So this is just a fast version of chicken cacciatore. And it always turns out really delicious. Let me show you the sauce. Excuse my countertops. I'm going to be cleaning them today. My sister's coming up around noon to do my hair. This is the one that I've been using, the Bertoli. It's been on sale a lot lately for $1.99 and it's only maybe 30 cents more than ShopRite's brand, which I'm gonna take the Bertoli over that. These were $1.99, ShopRite's is usually like $1.39 and for a couple cents more, I would rather something that tastes like an actual um, homemade marinara sauce. I don't know if you've ever tried this, sorry, but it's actually really, really nice. So I'm gonna do one jar, see if I need more and I will show you what it looks like at the end. I just want to share, I'm never going to do cooking videos. I'm too nervous to anymore. I used to do them on my channel about two years ago. But I'm just way, way too nervous with the way people are so particular. I mean, I have a dog bone back here. Someone would have a freaking heart attack. I don't wear gloves to, to cook for my family. I touch the meat. But I always wash my hands before I do any of this. So I never think twice about cooking for my friends and family. You know what I mean? I always have, and no one's ever said anything. Like when people are like, you can't um, eat at everyone's house. I keep my countertops clean. My cat does not come near my kitchen countertops. I, I don't allow that. You know what I mean? I try to be very sanitized, but I've always used my hands to cook. And I know sometimes people get wild in the comments, so I feel horrible. So I will show them in vlogs that way. Um, when I have a meal that I think is worth it. This is definitely worth it. This is a great winter meal. Um, I have winter and I have summer meals. I know that might be weird to some people, but it's so hot in the summer that I don't cook heavy meals like this. So let me get the sauce and the spices in and I'll be right back. So this is what it looks like now that it is all stirred together. Um, I did do a full jar of this. I think it's going to need a little more sauce, but I did that. And then I did probably, I did some water. So I'm going to say about a half a cup of water to get the entire amount out of this jar. These are nice to repurpose because they are glass jars. So you definitely could uh, repurpose these, even if you use them for uh, storing soup or anything you want to freeze. These are great for repurposing. I love the glass containers. And I was not talking about my friends on here that watch my videos like um when I post my like they automatically watch like my friends on here they're always watching whoops sorry I dropped you um I wasn't referring to you you guys never say anything but and when you do give me criticism or constructive criticism it's always kindly um so I wasn't referring to any of my friends on here I'm talking about people who aren't like they just come across your videos and they don't know you well or they don't watch your content and they just judge off of a 30 second clip. That's what I'm talking about. I do not leave hate comments. I do not ever say anything to hurt people's feelings because everyone lives differently and you just don't know somebody's life. So I don't try to judge. And if I do feel judgy, I usually just try to get past the video and hit not interested or I just move along. Um... I do not salt a lot. I add salt at the end after I taste it because recently my husband and I both have been diagnosed with high cholesterol. So we are going to be cutting out a lot of red meats and uh, we're going to be cutting out a lot of sodium, sugars. Very soon here, I'm waiting for my doctor to give me a call today about my blood work results. I was should never have logged into the portal, but I did and I saw that I have high blood pressure not high blood pressure, sorry, high cholesterol. My platelets were high, um, but I think that's because I also tested positive for either Epstein-Barr or Lyme disease, or it was, or I recently got, um, I, I'm not sure yet till I talk to him, but my vitamin D was very low, so I have a lot of stuff I got to get 
under control. So salt, I'm definitely controlling the amount of salt. You can see I did a lot of black pepper because I like it to have a little kick to it. And you add whatever spices make your heart happy. So I will be back when this has been cooking. I will kick, cook this on low. Usually I kick it up on high and then kick it down to low after four hours. But it's chicken and I feel like chicken can be finicky in the crock pot. If it cooks too, too long, it can almost become chewy. All right, now that I've talked your ear off enough, the only difference I might do is add another half a jar of sauce. That's literally the only difference that I might make in here. And if I do that, I will show you. So I will see you when this is all cooked.